<laughs> Foreign film cast, 38. Mm-hmm. Watch the. <laughs> مسابقات تحفيظ القرآن طبعا مسابقة بعد خمسة أسابيع احنا زدنا المبلغ الجائزة صار ألف بدل 800 ريال So what, what, why do you, what'd you like about it? If you're talking to somebody, what? Well, yeah, I like the whole effect that we see a culture that we have no knowledge of. And then you see how strict they are. Just, just showing the strictness of it and the stuff that the women have to put up with. And that was amazing that it was in the movie and I can't believe that the country even allowed that to be released out of it. But if you're curious about Saudi Arabian culture, this is the movie for you to see because it exposes it to you. And that's what made it amazing. Fantastic, worth all the money to pronounce. Hodgdon. This is our second female Islamic themed movie in recent history. Yes. So uh, let me give you a little background on this movie. This is apparently the first uh, fully filmed in Saudi Arabia feature length uh, film. Bye. And it also happens to be directed by a woman, which is, is remarkable. Girl power! Uh, <laughs> Her name is Haifa Al-Mansur. She directed the movie. She wrote the screenplay. The Wikipedia says it took five years to make the movie, mainly for a couple of reasons. Number one, she wanted the authenticity of it being shot in Saudi Arabia. And uh, number two, she did get some initial backing financially, but uh, she wanted uh, a little background. Apparently in Saudi Arabia, there isn't really a movie industry. There are no movie theaters. Mm-hmm. So she got a little backing. I'm not. I think From it was. Company. I think it was Saudi initially, and uh, but she wanted an international partner as well to give German it company. to give it a better chance. And and it's so it's a Saudi German production. Mm-hmm. There's more than one uh, German company involved. Um, and then the other very interesting thing about this movie was how difficult it was technically for her to make the movie because. In the culture, um, she's not allowed to mix with the men of the crew. So she had to use walkie-talkies. She had to do a lot of the shooting. She was just in the back of a van. And mm-hmm. she's, she had to do a lot of it remotely and just by looking at a monitor. Right. So that's stealthy. So Very incredibly stealthy. Uh, amazing that she, did, that she was able to pull this off. Mm-hmm. Um, the movie has won several prizes. It's been shown in many, many film festivals. And the U.S. releases this Friday, September 13. So, uh, all right, Paul, what, what, what's your take? What do you think? I thought it was uh, really entertaining. Uh, I love the acting. The story was was great. I recommend this to anybody, actually. Even you know. Uh, wow, it, Paul loved it. Yeah, I liked it a lot. And uh, anybody, I'd recommend it for most people. I think. Wow. So Paul liked it more than I. What, what did Trace think? I loved it. Brought appeal. Uh, lots of parallels with the um, the other movie that we saw, The Patient Stone. That's true. And um, I give it a, I don't know, five stars, two thumbs up. Must see. It's fantastic. The actress, the little girl. Oh, I saw so much of myself <clears> in her. I just loved it. So I, I like the movie mainly as an interest, again, in this culture that I know very little about. Yes. There's just no competition. There, there are no other Saudi movies to, to watch. So mm-hmm. it's, yeah. it's a very special opportunity to take a peek into this Forbidden kind of uh, secret culture. Yeah. Um, but other than that, if it weren't outside of that Saudi culture thing, it, it wasn't uh, that, that compelling to me. Really? Uh, no. I, I liked Why? it overall. I would say I would like the movie to be about 30 minutes shorter. Well, because there were just a lot of parts in the movie where I was you like... You didn't get it. Come well, you lost well, translation. I was, I was like, I'm ready for this to go to be a little bit over. I'm ready to, for something to happen. Was it all the resuscitate, all the recita- was it uh, desit- whatever, I can't even say. I don't say. know, I, I like the pacing personally. But I, I just left it all through and through. Yeah. Would you not well, if, like if, the if, whole if, I didn't if, mind you, it. if you really want to bask in this culture, then I could see how you'd want to just absorb every, every moment of it. But I... Seeing it as a, a film outside of just being this rarity of being Saudi Arabian, yeah. uh, I would not recommend it in general as Paul. I, I differ in my opinion. 
I feel like it, it doesn't appeal to as broad an audience as Paul as Paul thinks. All you have to think about it is like it had a lot of pi- it had a lot of Pippi Longstocking. The, the story the story is it was like an pl- Arabic Pippi Longstocking. Well, I'm, I'm just saying yeah. I was bored in parts, and I'm very open to foreign movies. I have foreignfilmcast.com, <laughs> so if I'm having trouble with it. I think that uh, your average movie governor would have more trouble well, with what, it. What uh, in maybe. particular did you, uh, maybe. it was just annoying? Yeah. Was it just the language? It was it just the language? I mean, I don't it's just, it. There's a lot of parts that I think are unnecessary to the structure of the narrative. There weren't. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff I didn't need to see. A lot of scenes that I felt were unnecessary or too long. Like, uh, like give me one, one, one of those scenes that just well, annoyed you. That's a spoiler. Just, just in oh, general. Spoiler? Okay. So we'll, we'll talk about this. Spoiler. So we're going to spoil now. Spoiler! So this is a story of a girl. How old do you think she is? Twelve. Twelve years old, something like yeah, twelve. Premenstrual. Yeah. Premenstrual. Absolutely. Um, that's, that's yeah, apparently that's a big. It's a big uh, landmark. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so her deal is she wants to buy a bike, and uh, she's she's been making bracelets, selling the bracelets. She does little favors like delivering. Uh, documents, every little thing she tries and to she weasel. Charges, she's she's at a price and she yeah, she's twice. always trying to weasel cash out of whatever whatever <laughs> she gets way she can. She's so she's really determined to to get this bike, and she's told the shopkeeper, "Save that's my bike." Uh, she makes him a mixtape, and so now we're oh. friends, and you're gonna save my bike for me. She knows how to work it, baby. So she's very passionate about this, and um, when she finds out that there is a big. Uh, Quran recitation and knowledge yeah, right, right. contest. Mm-hmm. Suddenly, dollars. she becomes interested in religion. No, only because, <laughs> only because the, the prize is a yeah, thousand whatever. Thousand. It's, en- it's enough to get the bike. She, yeah. she was a misfit. I mean, she wasn't fitting in oh. with the uh, the conservative crowd. Right. And she was She's a rebel. Told that you know you're going to be married off soon or you know whatever. And apparently, so I. If, if you guys have any knowledge, please share yeah, co- knowledge about this culture. I don't know the rules here. That's uh, true. Lane. Because at, at the school, when she, she does end up winning that. this contest, which will give her the money she needs to get this bicycle, uh, she, she says, what are you going to do with the money now that you won? Going to and she says, uh, she tells the truth. She wants to buy this bike. And uh, it's apparently... It's a scandal. Yeah, apparently it's, an, it's a scandalous enough that she says, no, we're going to donate this to Palestine. Yeah. I mean, we're going to donate that to, to our people in Palestine. Oh. And... So then, so I don't understand if it's so forbidden, then why a few minutes later do we see her mother buying her this bicycle? So there's a little bit of a contradiction. Mm. I don't know, is it really so rare for a girl to have a bike? And is this, is, this, is her mom just so progressive? Mm. That, if um, you know, let me know. I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, I have no I, idea. Well, That's maybe, one issue that I had that it could really? be how conservative is the society? Is it that conservative? Is it more or is it less? I, mean, who, I, I don't know. I don't know if that really represented the movie. We have so to one of the big it. one of the big commonalities with Patient Stone is the issue of it's very important for a woman to uh, to number one have children, number two a male child. Have a male child, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, in Patient Stone, she wasn't. Uh, they thought she was infertile, but it was the man, in fact. So she went and got yeah. got pregnant. That was more about just having children. Period. Mm-hmm. This woman, uh, watch does mother uh, mother is not infertile. She had a child. But she almost died in childhood. She had difficulty. So she can't. She couldn't conceive a second one, and the guy really wanted a son. Right. The father really wants it's a son. It's not clear so that, like what happened there. Like and he so maybe they. Maybe. So so he goes out and gets married again. I don't know. Do you need to get a divorce? Can you just keep accumulating wives? Yeah. No, that's another one. But, but the implication can, is that he's not going to have anything to do with them anymore, right? Yeah. It seems like that's what the well, point is. Well, just go back in time, and you see that one little the one little um, snippet when they have the family tree, and it's based on. You know, the lineage is based on the father. And Waja writes her name on a piece of paper, a little post-it, and she posts it in there because she's, it's only by mail your line is carried over. So she was devastated, and she just hand-wrote a little thingy, and she put it like, like she does matter, you know. All right. In That's summary, my opinion is, if you're interested in this culture, definitely, it's a must-see. Yeah, you have to see uh, it. Paul thinks everyone, it's for everyone. It's right. very, I think a lot of people, yeah, I think it, it, a lot of people would it's like universal, it. It's universal, I and think. And yeah, it is. You would get to learn about the culture, and it's, it's mm-hmm. a good look into it. And Trace thinks? I think it's universal. Just think um, Punky Brewster or Pippi Longstocking Arabic. All right, Definitely. feedback at foreignfilmcast at oh, gmail.com. Shout Yours. out to Brad, Brad Whitson in uh, Canada. I didn't That's give you right. a before. Shout out. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Master and, Paul. Yeah, Master Paul FF at and gmail.com. And Trace 700 AOL.